meet Jolene. Jolene works at a large nursery as a crop protection specialist. She spends most of her time scouting for any pests found on plants and then putting together treatment and prevention plans as part of the IPM program. What's IPM you ask? Well, it stands for Integrated Pest Management, meaning that we use a variety of methods to manage pests. It includes prevention practices, identification of pests and non-pests, monitoring of population levels, and when pests reach an economic threshold, an action can be made using our IPM toolbox. And after a treatment, it's important to reevaluate the situation and repeat the cycle to maintain a sustainable program. One day, when Jolene was doing her usual rounds scouting the lavender, she came across a fairly weak looking plant. When she looked closer, she realized the lavender was infested with multiple pests causing significant damage to the plant. Common nursery pests include, but are not limited to, thrips, aphids, two-spotted spider mites, and fungus gnat larvae. Not only can they be vectors of disease, but also the feeding damage to the leaves hinder the plant's ability to growing into a quality product, decreasing its cell value. Time to pull out that IPM toolbox and take a look at what treatment options we have. There's a choice of cultural, chemical, or biological. Cultural includes any biosecurity measures, such as sanitizing equipment before and after use, using the foot baths, and maintaining a clean facility. These are all powerful practices of prevention, but at this point, the pests are already there, so it's too late to prevent them. Chemical treatments can be expensive, labor-intensive, and depending on the active ingredient, can pose a health risk to people if exposed to the product. This can slow down production after applied because the area is limited to operations until deemed safe to re-enter. Chemical toxicity is also a threat to beneficial organisms such as bees and native species that interact within our ecosystem. Pests can also build resistance to active ingredients of a product and so one treatment might just not be enough. More products are being deregistered globally and this limits the buyer's market and restricts the producers from being able to sell to certain jurisdictions. Luckily, there is another option and one worth exploring. Biologicals! Biologicals keep us and our ecosystem safe and the plants happy and healthy. Common biological control agents used in a nursery include, but are not limited to, are rove beetles, predatory mites, parasitic wasps, and aureus. These bios will literally hunt down the pests and eat them for breakfast. They can be applied to the crop curatively and preventatively without causing any harm to the plant, workers, ecosystem, and not disrupt operations. Jolene chose a strong biological program. We hope you do too.